Hi, welcome to course two on implementing game audio. My name is Scott Looney, and I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about implementing audio in Unity 3D. But first, let me take you on a virtual tour of a game space that I've prepared. Now listen closely as I take a virtual walk around this game space. You can hear my footsteps, for example. You can hear that crash sound, of course. I'm okay. Just slipped a little there. You can hear the changing ambience of the room here. The buzz of the fluorescent lights above my head. And now, as I move closer to the other sound sources, like the fans rotating above me, or the rain ambience outside the building, for example, the audio engine inside Unity makes the sounds get louder or softer. As I change directions, the software makes those sounds change perspective to match my position. If I stumble into a dangerous room, then I've configured this environment in Unity to interactively react and play foreboding music when I cross into the area. Welcome to the storage room. As well as this vocal trigger. And this back office has a nice bossa loop that I've put in. And now you hear it change back to the old scary music loop. As I walk over here, I have configured this radio to turn on when I run over it, and again to turn it off. So this is more like a toggle kind of trigger. Over here by the desk, I have a simple one-shot trigger. You got mail, maggot! Over here by the sink, I've configured the trigger area so that it knows when I'm inside the trigger area and outside the trigger area. Back in the dark side office, I can trigger sounds in different places within Unity's game environment. And over here, I've configured this radio so that it can play sounds randomly from a list. Here's another one. And now to the editorial room of the Dragon Journal and Walter Winslow. Good evening, Mr. Mr. North and South America, and all the shipping. So, all of these amazing interactions and transformations are controlled by this software called Unity. Sound in games is a three-dimensional experience, and software like Unity really makes designing for a three-dimensional environment much easier for an audio professional. So in this course, I'm going to give you a laser-like focus on how to use and implement sounds inside the Unity 3D game environment so that you'll be able to do everything that I've shown you in this walkthrough. Note that this will not be a course in how to design 3D games. That's much too deep of a topic to go through, and there's a lot of other resources around so that you can learn how to do that. However, I will spend time talking about the overall organizational structure involved in a Unity project, as well as ways to make your audio more interactive. Now, as such, this may involve topics and subjects that may not have any obvious apparent connection to audio or sound, but if you're interested in game audio and you've been paying attention to the last course, you know how important it is to understand the systems and the logic behind how games work. This means things like coding and understanding how computers operate and think. I won't go heavily into this, but you need to understand this kind of thing if you're going to have any chance to be able to make something more interactive than merely playing a loop in the background. So, if you're ready to start your journey into sound, click on the next video and let's get started.